Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some more project shares for Scrap Diva Designs. I am guest designing for Erica and I did share a video, I think it was last week with a few Christmas projects. So now I wanted to show you the strawberry projects that I made. So if you would uh, like to purchase anything from Scrap Diva Designs, please feel free to use my discount code, which is strawberry10, and then you will receive 10% off your purchase of $10 or more. And I will link all of the products that I use down below. And um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first item that I wanted to share is the Strawberry Sentiments. And this is a 12 piece set. It comes with six different sentiments and the shadow, which is really nice. You can use the shadow or not. It looks good either or. The words are, or the sentiments are strawberry. I like you very much. Fresh picked. You are very cute. Um, life is sweet and so very sweet. So good to use on so many different kinds of projects, you know, like birthdays, whatever. So I did make, um, I cut them all out. Some of them I used in some of the projects, but I'll show you ones that I did not use in the projects. So this is Life is Sweet. I used some pink, just plain pink cardstock and some aqua paper for the Life is Sweet itself. And let me get out my ruler. This measures, uh, it's just a little bit over three inches long. And the highest part is um, not even three quarters of an inch. So great size for embellishments as well as cards. So I love that one. And then the next one is You Are Very Cute. It's such a cute script font too. And the shadow piece lets you see exactly where you should put the the words as you're gluing them down makes it super easy so that's the same color combination so is this one oops stuck together so very sweet and one that has two like words on the top and bottom that's about one and three eighths inches long or high so that's so very sweet super cute they cut out really easily too which is nice and then this one i use yellow paper and it says fresh picked isn't that pretty the p is separate from the ict <laughs> but otherwise they're all attached so it makes it really quick when you're making sentiments so there's that one and i'll show you the other ones as we go along i also got these paper pads out because i wanted to show you what i used for the other two projects i use this collection from lawn fawn it's called flower market i have it in the six by six paper pad and in the um, 12 by 12 collection so just to give you an idea um, these are beautiful papers i'm not sure if they're still available now i did get them this year so you know if you'd like the papers that i used in these um, projects that's that's them all right so actually let me move that there okay so let's move the words here and we'll move on to the next die set this one is called the strawberry shaker and this is a 10 piece set it comes with a big strawberry set and the smaller strawberry set so it's great it comes with lots of different layering pieces gives you tons of options you can make this a shaker if you want to which i did or not so um, it comes with the outer frame and then a smaller inside frame and then it comes with this part that you could put in the center while you're running it through your die cutting machine that way it'll cut a frame for your um, for your shaker and then it comes with this this plate here that cuts out little seeds for the strawberries so you could either glue them on or put them into the shaker I put them into my shaker and then it comes with the leaf piece which is stitched and embossed I love that and then it comes with the smaller one too which uh, I did not which one did I use I use the I used the bigger one so I did not use the smaller one let me give you a, a measurement of that one um, from the cutting line to cutting line, it's about two and a half inches long and uh, one and seven eighths inches across. So they, uh, it comes with both the bigger and the smaller one, and they each one comes with five different pieces. So you can go ahead and you know make whatever kind of strawberry you'd like. So let me show you what I did. I made a shaker and then I made it into a card. So this is a shaker that I made. It's not cute. I love the stitching on there. And these are those papers that I just showed you. From top to bottom of the larger one, it's about uh, two and three eighths, approximately, not even. And then across, it's about two and a half inches. 
so super super cute um, it's easy when you want to make it a shaker when they're not attached to to tape them together with washi tape when you run them through your die cutting machine and then make sure you do your foam and your layering piece before you take the washi tape off so that they're both you know exactly the same uh, spacing so that's just a little tip to make it into a shaker. There's another one of those strawberry sentiments. This time I used some pink glitter paper and I did cut it out of Dollar Tree foam too to pop it up. And then I did the layering with strawberry or strawberry <laughs> with Dollar Tree foam as well. And just added some different shaker bits that I thought would look really nice in there. There are some seeds. Um, see the little pink ones there? Yeah, I cut that out of pink paper. And then for the for this page here for the um, for the background, I used a penny black die. It's a set called Zigzag Stackers, and it comes with different size rectangles. So I think this is the biggest one. Fits perfectly on an A2 size card. And then I glued on some diamond dots that I've seen with a with Love Brie do that, and I think that's a great idea. So I did that in all of the big centers of the flowers on that paper. So very simple card, but I love the colors, the pink and green and yellow, I'm just really into right now. I used just a, a white piece of eight and a half by 11, 80 pound card stock, uh, 80 pound, 65 pound card stock, and just cut it in half to make the card base. And then the inside, I just cut a same, same die I used on the front. So isn't that cute? Um, I think I measured everything. Let me just measure the sentiment and that's about one and a quarter inches and two and a quarter inches long. So just the two elements on the card, but um, you know, some nice textures and pretty features. I think it's a really nice card. So there's that one, hope you like it. All right, my next project is called the Strawberry Mini Album. And I was so excited to get this because, oh, there's so many different possibilities with this. So uh, Erica has some beautiful examples on her website. And one of them used the Strawberry Milkshake Collection from Frank Garcia, which is beautiful. And I was thinking of using that, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I used a few of the Strawberry Milkshake items in my project, but it's not based on that. It's based on the um, flower market paper. So anyway, this uh, die set comes with six pieces and it's huge, as you could see. It comes with, well, this is a background strawberry piece and then it comes with the stitch layering piece. This plate cuts out the seeds. It comes with the, the leaf, which is embossed just like the, the smaller shaker one. It comes with this piece to make little uh, page, like little places on your spine to attach your pages. And then it comes with this piece, which is the base of the mini album. So this actually creates a fold line here. So you can fold them together, uh, cut out a piece of paper, the size that you want your spine to be, glue the little spine holder thingies on it, and you have a mini album. So let me show you what I made. Um, what I did, here's my mini album. I decided to make it a little strawberry recipe album. And all the recipes in here are strawberry based. I had a few, actually all of them were ones that I make that I really like. Um, there was one more that was just too involved to be on a page of this album. So I found another recipe on all recipes that uh, looked really good. So I'll show you that when we get up to it. But anyway, this is the mini album. And this stamp here, this recipes is a Diana Markham stamp that is um, was just released through Adorn It. Um, I don't know if it's a bit available right now on their website. Let me show you what it looks like. This is the example of the stamp. So um, if it is available, I will link it down below. But this is a nice big stamp that um, I just fussy cut around and I thought it'd be perfect for my little recipe book. So I use that. And I did use the cover plate that that um, cuts out the seeds on this one. I didn't do it on any of the inside pages, but I did on the cover. <clears throat> I also put a white doily here. This was from Michael's, I believe. And then, well, for the recipes, I forgot to mention, I did color that with alcohol inks, which these are the colors that I used. And these are all different mixtures of different brands, but I just go looking through my my stash to find colors that I like. So these are all the colors that I used. 
And okay, so back to this part, the doily I told you about. Uh, Strawberry Kisses for You is part of the Strawberry Milkshake Ephemera. And the background piece, that little gingham paper I cut out of a banner set that is also from Erica, which is this set. And I'll link that down below if it's still available too. I use these all the time. These are just so handy, especially the stitch side. I just really love it. So I did use one of the stitched ones for this, just the, um, the simple one. And then uh, these little strawberries here, I got those from a Cottage Cuts die set, which is this one, and it's called Stitched Fruit. And it's just like a plate die, so I used the strawberry part. And I tied it with some seam binding from, I think it's called My Scrap Cabin on Etsy. There's another one of those, two of those strawberries. And I tied the top page with some green and white twine. So yeah, this is the cover. Hope you guys like it. The spine I just cut into um, a piece of paper that I thought would be a nice width. It's about one inch and then three inches, I believe. Yeah, about three inches. And then I had this uh, rectangle stitch die in my stash, so I just used that and cut out a piece of polka dot paper to put on the, on the uh, spine. I don't know what to put there yet, so I just left it blank for now. And then the back is just plain and I stamped my, um, my logo on there. So what I did for the back is I uh, punched a hole with my um, Big Bite, my Crocodile Big Bite. That means it's a big one that you can like, you could punch a hole that's more like in the center of the paper. So that's what I did there. And then I tied a piece of seam binding like you saw and then just tied it around just to hold everything together. So let's open it up and I'll show you what it looks like inside. It's just tied. so. Just untie it like that, move this over. Okay, so this is the first page and this old fashioned strawberry pie is a recipe that I've had in my cookbook for a long time. So I just um, printed it out and then used a oval die so it would fit on this strawberry page. And then I used a piece of the puppy, or I used a puppy sticker from Strawberry Milkshake for that. And then the straw, I love this strawberry layering piece with the with the stitches. It just looks so nice on the on the page. So I've just, you know, buried my papers. I have a pad of paper from KS Craft that has pretty pastel polka dots. So I use that for a lot of these pages as well. This little pie slice, isn't that cute? I just got that die from Impression Obsession. And this is a new one designed by Anna White. Hi Anna, if you're watching. This one is called a uh, slice of pie. And that's what it looks like. So I couldn't wait to try it out. And this was a perfect opportunity to make it look like strawberry pie. So uh, yeah, and then for the, for the um, table here, I just cut, uh, I used that, the stitched strawberry die and just, you know, did like a smaller piece of paper so I wouldn't waste the whole thing. Isn't that pretty? And that's some uh, strawberry milkshake ephemera too. I thought it looked like a nice picture on the wall. So there's that page. And then the next page is blue or strawberry blue cheese salad, which is really, really good. I'd love this recipe. So if anybody wants the recipes, just let me know. I did get a little um, yellow ink on here. On all of the recipe pages, I did a little inking and I used either sponge sugar distress oxide or I used scattered straw distress ink. So that one I used the scattered straw and yeah, just made a little boo-boo, but that's okay. And there's another puppy sticker. I used this die set. This is from KS Craft and it's sprinkled with love and it's got little um, stitching shadow words. And then I just glued on individually little clay sprinkles. So again, so cute, right? And it's, you know, it's a really nice size. I don't think I measured this for you, did I? Each page is, it's like three, six and three quarter inches high and then about five inches across. So, you know, the dies fit through your standard die cutting machine, no problem. So there's that page. Okay, and the next one I have strawberry cake filling. And I used to make this every year for my daughter for her birthday. She would, um, I would make her, whatever kind of cake she wanted, but she usually wanted strawberry filling inside. So I would make this, it's really good, just a simple basic recipe, but you know, it's, it's very uh, delicious and I haven't made it since she's been in college, but you know, when she's home, I make it for her. So there's that, another one of the puppy stickers, love that little bird. And then this is a embellishment that I made a while ago. And this is from KS Craft as well, got some 
hot glue on there. But this is their little oven set. So I thought this kind of went perfectly here, especially since it's a cake filling recipe, you know, you have to bake it. So, and then there's one of the words from uh, the strawberry sentiments. It just says strawberry. And again, I use those pretty papers. I just lo I'm loving this yellow and green and pink combination. There's a little blue there, but that's okay. So there's that one. And then the next page, oh, I gotta glue that down a little bit better, but this one is chocolate covered strawberries. My kids and I used to make this every Valentine's Day. It's so much cheaper to do than to buy your to, than to buy pre-made chocolate covered strawberries, and they're just as good, if not better. So there's the recipe. And this is a um, embellishment I had made for Chaos Craft a while ago. I thought it went perfectly on here, and also the pinwheel I just glued on there as well. And then the last page is, this is the one that I have not tried yet, but it looked really good, strawberry buttercream frosting. I'm thinking I will try this soon. So it looks like a very simple recipe. So um, I added that. And then the last page here, I kind of um, made a boo-boo. I should have put, I like you very much down a little bit. Um, I kind of glued this together before I punched a hole for the um, seam binding, so that's okay. You can still kind of see it. And then that's a piece of um, ephemera from Strawberry Milkshake. So is that. Another puppy sticker. They all have puppy stickers from that collection. And I think it came out super cute. So that is my little strawberry recipe mini album. I hope you like it. I love to make recipe albums. I just love to make practical things. This way I could give this as a gift or just keep it for me or for the kids. Um, you know, they they like to have my recipes, so this way they'll have it in a decorative way as well. I'll tie that later. Okay, <laughs> so anyway, those are my projects for today. I hope you like them. Again, Strawberry 10 will get you 10% off your $10 or more order. All the products will be linked below. Thank you so much, Erica, for asking me to design for you again. I had so much fun, and you know what I like because you knew I would like these um, selections, and I really do. So I really appreciate it, and I appreciate everyone who watches and uh, subscribes, gives me thumbs up and nice comments. I really thank you very, very much. So I will be back soon with more crafty videos. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.